So is it gay to be having two guys under the same car? <laughs> Just a little gay, bro. It has been a crazy week. Uh, right after I uploaded last week's video on uh, on the exhaust sound clip, right after I edited that video, I started feeling kind of weird itchiness in my throat, and I got really sick. So I've been sick for since Sunday now. Today I'm recording this is Wednesday. And I actually have an exam in a couple hours. And I also had like other school events that I tried to get excused from and they said just come in and double mask. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I actually have my exam is in literally two hours. I don't even know how I'm gonna feel. I feel like we're, we're on infectious disease right now, and I feel like I'm freaking fighting my own infectious disease. I just made some coffee right here, and I try to stay awake for a little, for a little longer. Take the exam, come home, and just knock out, because I feel like crap. It's been like three days already, and oh my god, I don't feel like I'm getting better. Maybe I should go with urgent care or something. I haven't really worked out in the past week because I got so sick and I s finally started not having fevers after yesterday. I thought I could work out today and I shot around the park for like 15-20 minutes and my god I am out of breath like completely just done. <laughs> now I'm walking back gonna make some coffee or something and then just do some studying. Not much in the plans. Um, trying to get a hold of a car this week to shoot but I'm not sure how that's gonna go then all I've been doing is just studying the past three four days it's just sleep and study because I had infectious disease midterm and it was just as bad as I expected but yeah that's just how life is at the moment so remember last week when I said oh it looked like nothing happened but then you can slowly see that this part is sagging and we use like temporary screws to put this part in. So I'm kind of not surprised that this is happening. Um, I'm just gonna put some 3M tape in between this area right here, in between the screws. And hopefully we can just get that to sit a little nicer. Cause you can see it sag and you can see the screw right there. Look how filthy Gracie is. Oh, I don't even know where this came from. All over, she is just disgusting. Give her a proper wash. Finally done with some of my exams, so let's finally clean her. I feel so bad, just like neglected. I finally got a proper wash bucket with a grid guard. That way, um, I can wash the car properly. And just a bunch of boxes here that I need to take out because I've been getting ready for an oil change sometime next week. Um, stay tuned for that. Gonna, it's actually going to be the first time I'm doing an oil change on this car, but the placement of the oil filter is actually really, really simple. Look at how good she looks now. Oh, yeah. So dirty before. I need to get some towels just for the wheels because I don't usually dry them, <laughs> which is bad. And I need like a wheel scrubber. I had one, but I think I lost it. But I need to get separate towels for wheels so I don't contaminate all the ones that I use for the paint just in case. And later on when I get wheels, I definitely need them <laughs> to help them stay clean. But now, whatever, like I don't care too much about the stock wheels. I can just kind of look whatever. <laughs> But the lip is looking so good. But of course, we still have that sagging issue. I'm gonna fix it next week. Look, the screw is not in the right place. From the upward angle, you can't really see it, but the moment you start to get a little low, you can see the screws are not really screwed in. Those were just tapper screws. But the sides are holding up really well. I think it would have been fine if I didn't scrape that hard last time. So, oh well, paying the consequences of it. I'm gonna be 3 Ming the in betweens here, and then probably just leaving the screws on. 
I just watched Gracie and look what's in front of us. That's a whole bridge filled with freaking pigeons. Are you kidding me? Do not on the car. Do not poop on the car. I have another presentation right now and then uh, we're gonna get this baby an oil change. I'm not sure if, so for those of you that are getting a brand new GR86, I'm not sure what Subaru's warranty or whatever it is, whatever the purchasing agreement, whatever it's called. Toyota usually gives you, I think, three years of free oil changes. When I asked them about my car, they said, oh, you only get three or 15,000 miles. So I guess this car gets its own category for some weird reason. So I've already used up the three oil changes. So now I'm gonna do my uh, fourth one by myself. From what I've seen, it looks really easy to do compared to my old Lexus. So it shouldn't be too bad. Gonna head over to Manu's house after this and then we're gonna start working on it. And we're also gonna fix the lips. The man himself. Oh man, let me go grab stuff out of my trunk. Hey, my pickleball set is still here. You trying to play? <laughs> oil filter, oil. The car takes, I believe, 5.3 quarts. So I got six quarts here. Just to make sure we have enough. Put the OEM filter and everything. I will link all the parts below in the description. Where's it at? Oh, shh. <laughs> That was from the filter, huh? Yeah. It's crazy. It's all fixed now? Yeah. My favorite S2000 of all time. Just kidding. I don't know. It's between him and Kenny. Both very sick cars. But he had a, um, he had a leak on his oil filter the other day. Went home and he saw that his motor mounts were all soaked with oil. But figured out it was just the oil filter, so. Got it off, it's looking sharp. First things first, we have the car jacked up and then took off the oil cap at the top and then now we're gonna, there's bolts, there's a cover here. I'm gonna take off these bolts and then it'll expose the, the drain plug and then we can we'll drain out the oil. But what you do is you take out like two out of three of them or something like that and yeah. you just swing, swing it to the side. Just take out these two. Ah. Damn, they barely tightened this. Yeah, they barely twisted. <laughs> Put your finger in the hole. This one? Yeah. Let me twist it off. I think we need to loosen it. Loosen this one first. Oh, there it is, staring right at me. You can put these. Screw these back in. What? Um, these are eights? Why does it show an 8 on it? Is it? Yeah. So this one's yeah, too big, huh? This is a 10? Yeah, that's a Oh, it's still got the job done. I don't know how big the the drain one is. It's definitely way bigger than a 10. 17. 17? That's what mine is. I think that's common. Really? Looks like I'm about to drink hella oil right now. I'm gonna come to this side so I'm away from the firing zone. Oh, damn. They really tightened this. There you go, I broke it. Dude, that thing is sick! Yeah. Oh, it's starting to drip already. Is it? Yeah. Alright, I think we're in a good position right here. Fuck. Oh, 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 oh. I let go too quickly because it got too hot. So we just removed the oil filter and check this out. This one that I got done at Toyota says Toyota on it, but I know it's a Subaru part. And the one that I ordered online is Subaru. Made in Japan. I don't even know what this one, this one's made in Thailand. Why, what's Thailand doing here? Oh, we should take some of the old oil and yeah. put it around the, the oil filter. Are you planning on using the quart right now? Yeah, I mean, okay. it's supposed to be 5.3, I think, so. We're still waiting for the oil to drain, so we're gonna fix this with the 3M in between because these were tapper screws and they weren't holding the 
bumper up or not the bumper the lip up correctly I'm gonna clean this up and then uh, tape it all back together so is it gay to be having two guys under the same car? <laughs> Just a little gay bro. It looks so good like this though. When we hold it up. And the fitment is perfect. It's fine. This is I mean from afar, you can never tell. Oh that would be done. <laughs> that whole thing's coming up. <laughs> Alright, uh back to oil chain. I'm gonna push the drain plug back in with the washer. Oh, I should have worn gloves. That's good. Ian's guys ID final next week. So what is that? What? <laughs> ID midterm? Yeah, this is what we're doing instead of studying for ID. Dude, wait, did I tell you? One of our classmates watched my videos? Did I tell you one of our classmates watched my videos? And he says I don't ever study. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> A little more. And a little more. Recommended manufacturer for this car is 020. Um, some people run 520, put on the rim. Satisfying. Should have made a ASMR video for this. Shh. Imagine it doesn't fit. This guy's so much stronger than me, it's actually insane. <laughs> it's to tighten it? Yeah. This thing? Because I think technically it was the quarter home. Turn after the sand tight. Go. I don't know how to use that thing, to be honest. Don't break it. Yeah, let's hope we don't. <laughs> Shit. Just... Easy. Yeah. Nice and tight. And then... 5 and... 5.3. Put that 5 first. We're using Pennzoil Platinum. 020. Professional pour. Oh it doesn't look that. Is God. it in? Yeah, it's in. It's in. I, I promise it's in. Like this? Yeah, like that. Oh my god, that's so sus. Imagine it's not even going through. It's dripping on the on the bottom there. Oosh. Yeah. yeah. Gotta... Heard you like wine. I know. It's gonna start smelling oil everywhere. I thought you were the North America's best pourer. Yeah, pep boys change my oil. Confidence! There we go! Nice. 200 ish more? 280 ish more? So up to the 600 mark? What's the proper way to, to check? It's like you run it for 10 minutes and then check dipstick. Yeah. And then add as needed. Let's cap this. Got the car off the jacks. Now we're gonna check the oil again to make sure that we're in the clear. We put about 5.3 from our calculation. I just used the bathroom at Manu's house and I found out something so funny. Check this out. Let me show it to him. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> my favorite pants of all time. Check this shit. What? Do that. <laughs> you want it? Bro, <laughs> do that. Peace out. Thank you for your help. First. I'll see you. Yeah. No, I see you. Exam? I think so. Yeah. Are you coming tomorrow? Case? Uh, yeah. I'm skipping tomorrow. Did you skip one yet? Tomorrow has like a soap mill and everything, so. Why would you skip? Because Nance is finally back. I haven't seen her in like three weeks. 
Isn't that the one assignment that's rated for that class? <laughs> Did a whole oil change at Manuk's house. <laughs> These pants! Are you kidding me? Just ripped through what? what is this? It's like I farted too hard or something and it just ripped. Holy crap.